Welcome to this brief video on setting up an event dashboard for your art and feminism event. The dashboard is a tool hosted by Wiki Education that allows users to easily sign in and track their edits during events. It also allows organizers to connect their events to our art and feminism annual campaign and helps us track the impact of our edits, including things like number of edits, uploads, references, participants, and created articles. There are two types of dashboards hosted by Wiki Education, the Education Dashboard and the Programs and Events Dashboard. Always make sure you're on the Programs and Events Dashboard when you're hosting art and feminism events. If you're familiar with Wikipedia events, you may have used a Meetup page before. Many Wikimedians use Meetup pages to organize events. If you have set up a Meetup page, we also ask that you join us on the dashboard to help us track the impact of our collective project. You can do this by creating a program in the dashboard, linking it in your Meetup page, and having participants sign in through the dashboard at the beginning of your events. So let's get started. You can find the dashboard link on our Meetup page, on our events page, on our website as seen here, or by asking your regional ambassador. So here's the link to the Meetup page. It says 2024 Art and Feminism Dashboard. You're going to click on that. That will take you to our current campaign dashboard on the Programs and Events Dashboard site. As you can see, these are our current statistics from all the programs that people are hosting. If you'd like to change the language of your dashboard interface, you can do so now by clicking the drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner of your screen and selecting your preferred language. I'm going to keep mine on English. From here, you can log in with your Wikipedia account. If you don't have a Wikipedia account, you can create one at this time. Because I'm already logged in, the green box is visible down here that says Create Program. That won't be visible if you're not logged in. So I'm going to click on that and it will create a program within our current campaign. From here, you'll have the option to create a new program or clone a previous program. For this example, we will click Create New Program. Three additional options will pop up, Basic Program, Edit-a-thon, and Article Scoped Program. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll select Edit-a-thon. From here, you can fill in information about your program. The program should automatically list that it is part of the campaign, Art and Feminism Current Campaign Year. It does here. You'll enter the program title and host institution, which will make up the URL of the program. So let's say I'm hosting an event about abortion access at a public library in Maryland. I'll input the title of the event as, example, Abortion Access in Maryland, Edit-a-thon. In the institution name as example, Maryland Public Library. You should use the name of whichever institution or group you are organizing the event on behalf of or the venue location where you're holding event. In the home wiki section down here, I can list the main language Wikipedia that participants will be working in. For this example, I'll list English Wikipedia or EN. If I'd like the dashboard to track edits across multiple language Wikipedias, I can list their abbreviations in the Tracked Wiki section below. I'll do that now with ES for Spanish and JP for Japanese. Now you can add a description of your event or program. This can be a brief overview of what the program is about and what the editors will be working on. This is also where you should include your COVID safety policy. I'll put in participants will be editing information related to abortion access in Maryland. No Wikipedia experience is required. We'll provide tutorials and training for new editors. Masks are required. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Here you can select the start and end dates and times for your event. The interface uses the time zone that you're currently in. So if I'm actually in LA, but will be hosting my event in Maryland, I'll want to factor in that time difference. 
This window allows users to specify both tracking start and end times and event start and end times. I usually start tracking the morning of the event and set tracking to end a few days later. This gives editors who may be excited about the subject matter and interested in continuing to edit after the event is over plenty of time to make additional edits. So let's say my event is tomorrow, February 27th. And let's say it starts at noon. I'm going to set it for 10 a.m. to start tracking, just a little bit before the event. If it ends on the 27th, I'm going to have tracking end on March 2nd, because that gives people enough time to make additional edits if they want to. And I'm going to put 10 a.m. for that. Down here, I'm going to specify separate event start and end times, which is optional, but for this example, we'll do it. So if the event starts at noon on February 27th, I'm going to have it end on the 27th at 3 p.m. or 1500 hours. So from here, you can click Create Program, and your program dashboard will be generated. So this has been popping up with this internal server error. It's just an error. You can exit out. You can go to my dashboard and it should be listed here. So it's all normal. Your program is available. You can click view program page. Your program dashboard is generated and you can use this shareable link at the top of the screen, this green link right here, to send to event attendees and co-organizers we suggest using a tool like Bitly to shorten that URL because it's pretty long. If your event has multiple organizers, you can add co-hosts at this time. All co-hosts will have the same abilities as the creator of the event dashboard, including editing the event, batch creating Wikipedia accounts, and inviting new attendees. You can add co-hosts by clicking Edit Details right here under Details and adding their facilitator names up here with this plus sign. You're also welcome to create a passcode for your event at this time under Edit Details, which is right here. That's totally optional. So I'm going to exit out of this. A newer feature of the Programs and Events dashboard is the option to track namespaces. By default, the dashboard tracks all edits made in Mainspace Wikipedia or edits to articles and uploads to the Commons. With the option to track namespaces, admin can specify tracking to edits made to things like talk and user pages, platforms like Wiktionary and other wiki projects, and pages on Meta. Tracking specific namespaces can be especially helpful if you want to capture more details about your event's impact, or if you have experienced editors at your event who may be making edits outside of Wikipedia's namespace. So that's down here tracked namespaces, and you can edit that under Edit Details. During your event, the dashboard will start tracking edits the day of your program when you set it to. Make sure to pull up the dashboard the day of your event and have all editors sign in with the dashboard link. For the in-person events, you can share the link to registrants before the event, print it out on any handouts, or write it on a whiteboard. For virtual events, you can share the event link before the event and multiple times in the chat as the event is getting started. Participants will need a Wikipedia account to sign into the dashboard. If there are new users at your event, you can batch create accounts and will receive the passwords emailed to your inbox. You can do this by going down to the actions box on the bottom right hand side of the screen and clicking enable account requests. Users will now be able to request accounts and the event admin can confirm them. As an organizer, you can also add multiple users with existing accounts to the dashboard. To do this, you can go to the editors tab next to the home tab up here and add usernames in a list using returns or enters and no punctuation. So you can click add or remove editors. The dashboard will finish tracking your event contributions at the time you set it to stop. So I set it to stop on March 2nd. You'll also have the option to download your statistics in a variety of formats like a CSV under this action section down here. So download stats. So there's your dashboard. There's some tabs up here, including home, editors. It'll show you what articles people are working on and you can assign articles, uploads to the commons and other activity. All right, 
If you have any technical questions during the event, you can reach out for support in the Art and Feminism Telegram group linked here, or the Dashboard Telegram group linked here. For additional support, you can email your regional ambassador.